Uchem has just released a new virtual drummer called Legend. And this one might be my favorite one yet. Basically, it's supposed to sound like 70s dry drums. And 70s is one of my favorite eras for music, so of course I'm going to like it. But also I'm going to be quite critical. Let's just dive right into it with a demo. So I programmed these drum tracks with some grooves in here. My favorite style so far is Elemental and I'm using the Grand Kit, Dry and I also added a Virtual Bassist. Now let's listen to the same section again and I'm going to play around a bit with the settings. I think the easiest way to understand how this plugin works is you get a MIDI keyboard and you see there is a section that controls the loop from here to here. From here to here you control the MIDI patterns and from here to here you control the samples directly. The white keys are all loops that you can hold forever. And the black keys are like accentuations, intros, whatever. So you could, for example, use one of these intros. And when the intro is over, it will automatically transition into the white key you're holding. And then these three are fills. And then you have endings. I mean, that's the plugin. The question is just, do you like how this one sounds? Some other things to mention, if you're in the grand drum kit, for example, you can adjust which kick you're using. You can do the same with the snare and with the toms, even with the hi-hats, rides, crashes. So you can mix and match which samples you're using. Also, this is a multi-out plugin. So you could, for example, activate output two, three, four, and then route the kick to the individual output route the snare to the individual output. Usually I don't use multi-out though, as I think the idea behind the virtual drummers is that you don't have to do a lot of additional mixing. They try to kind of make mixing as efficient as possible so that you don't really have to do a lot of it yourself. All right, let's see how these drums sound if you just drop them into some productions I've been working on. In this track, I used addictive drums. I'm in business for mom, but at the moment nothing's gonna Go. This will back go to set it up and more. Nothing new at the door. And now let's see how this sounds if we replace these drums with legend. I did find a very similar drum groove in here going home. I just had to add nearly 100% of swing, and then it sounds like this. And now let's see how it sounds in the context. It's always going to be difficult to just drop a new recording, a new drum plugging into a session you've been working on and find the sound you like. With this increasing number of virtual drummers, I feel that it's going to be more and more difficult to choose 
the correct one for you to buy. They all do sound fairly different and I would maybe wish that they were integrated together a bit better, comparable to other drum plugins like Addictive Drums, where you can even combine different kit pieces from different expansions together. Like if you could combine a kick drum from Hot with a snare from Legend, that would be pretty cool. So I appreciate the big selection, but it doesn't only have benefits, I think it also has drawbacks. If you could just have one drum plugin that fulfills everything you need, that would probably be a better system. But on the other hand, a very good thing about them releasing a new plugin every time is every new release to me sounds significantly better than all the other ones before. This is quite difficult to demonstrate, but I'm going to attempt it with four virtual drummers I happen to have installed. So let's start by looking at the oldest one I have, and I think it's also one of the first ones, Solid. One thing I always find is that I don't really like the hi-hats. The kick and snare and toms usually are pretty cool, but the hi-hats don't cut it for me. Let's move to a bit newer, fat. I think this one sounds a lot better already than Solid did. Maybe that's also because Solid is kind of trying something more difficult, trying to cover a larger area of drum sounds, and Fat is doing something quite specific, but I think it does it well. Then we move on to Hot, which is the second to newest one. And I think this one sounds even better. And now Legend. Still I think the hi-hat is my least favorite part of the set but I think it might sound even slightly better than hot. This is a loop from my Tomophone review, which was supposed to be quite funky, so it could fit with Legend. For my use synth review, I also made some tracks. Let's drop it in there. So this was originally Virtual Drummer Hot. Let's see what happens if I just drag this over. <laughs> Sounds quite good. This is how it originally sounded with hot. You know what? I might prefer it with legend. Yeah, honestly, I think that's enough for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and if you think you want to check out this plugin, I invite you to use the affiliate link in the description. If you think that makes me a shill, consider the fact that I haven't earned a single dollar so far through affiliate marketing, because maybe <laughs> my reviews are not positive enough for people to just go out there and buy the things with my affiliate links. Damn. Let's see if somebody buys a virtual drummer legend through my links. I'll keep you up to date. <laughs>